Are you going to be ready for Sportster Summer? I think so. It's going to be hard to sell this one. <laughs> there it is. It looks pretty damn good. Now just imagine an iron head motor right here. Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Mazimoto. So today we got a pretty special project, special to my heart. Um, I've been wanting to do like a KR style um, race bike uh, with like an iron head engine in it. And I finally bought a KR style hardtail and collected a K model front wheel, um, an early 33.4 front end. And so let me uh, flip the camera around and I'll show you guys so currently the bike sits like this. Um, I got this hardtail frame not too long ago, or sorry, this frame, the orange frame, not too long ago. I put it all together and I realized that it was raked and I don't want this bike to be raked. So I went ahead and picked up a second frame um, that I'm about to put all together right now. And the only bad thing is that this brake crossover tube is bent. So I'm gonna have to cut that out and re-weld. And it looks like the frame is a little wonky, but I'm just gonna throw it all together right now because currently uh, I might be selling this frame and it doesn't have a kickstand. And I just threw this kickstand on this frame right now. And so I kind of want the bike to be movable and it's just been sitting here for quite some time and uh, we can't move it around. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the K model front wheel off the flathead, throw the hamburger drum front wheel onto the flathead for now, and uh, put this together with the K model wheel, the shorter front end, early style lowers, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So come along as I do this.
so this is what it's looking like so far. It looks pretty good. shoulder rim that I'm going to paint black and throw in the back of this bike so I can match the K model front wheel. Um, and then once that's done, I think it'll have like a really good stance. It'll sit really nice. And uh, I'm really excited about this bike. I might just throw a tank on, see what it looks like. Let me grab a tank. You gonna be ready for Sportster summer? I think so. It's gonna be hard to sell this one. <laughs> All right, so this is what it's looking like right now. Um, it looks pretty fucking good, in my opinion. What do you think? Yeah. Would you change anything? Maybe the paint? Yeah, the paint's going to a different way. <laughs> but, um,. I put the solo seat that was on Mike's bike back on, and I think the tank might have to move up a little. What do you think? Yeah. Let's move it. Fuck. Hold on. There it goes. Um, yeah, I think we'll probably do different things. I basically want this bike and this bike to be racing buddies. <laughs> um, I want them to race together, basically. Maybe go to Trog some year and race the two against each other. We do kind of have something brewing where we might put a different type of motor in, in this frame. We won't say more than that, because <laughs> it's going to be really fucking cool. But, uh, yeah. It looks pretty cool. I wish I could start this bike right now. Why can't you? Huh? Why can't you? Let's try know. kicking it over. Yeah, I guess, I guess we could. <laughs> oh, no compression. No compression. And then we're probably going to do like a number plate on the front, no headlight. Same with this bike. Uh, if I can get like another K model wheel for this bike, that'd be pretty sweet to keep the 33.4. Um, and if I do that, that means, well, I guess every bike that I own except for my Evo Sportster and my Panhead have 33.4s on them, which is kind of funny. Um, they're just the best. But I'm going to start disassembling the iron head motor when we get into our new shop because we found a new shop. So uh, we're moving in there in December 
and I've got a lot more projects to do right now before I can continue this one. I will have a wassail fender for this bike, so it won't be this flat fender, it'll be a wassail fender. Um, I think I'm going to keep it high like that just because I like, I like the way it looks. It's kind of like a desert sled or something. But uh, yeah. Right now I'm working on mounting the gas tank on the 68 XLCH, as you can see over there. And I'm probably going to park the 59, finish up this gas tank, and then head, go get a pizza and head home. Well, we got to call that thing in. Yeah, we do. We got to call it an airstrike. Let's do it. <laughs> 